if during the program sequence selections a reject option was selected yes, then the interview process will have additional information required for setting for the reject. The quick edit generated parameters once this program is created will allow for inputting a number of startup rejects, a reject location to discard the part, and the program would respond to any machine reject signals also. The question for the reject part in the interview process pertains only to whether you need to index a conveyor after a reject has been dropped. In many cases, and the default answer is always going to be no, you can change this to a yes and in most cases, that's because you may be using a reversing conveyor that's configured to the robot. And the rote reversing conveyor will have a conveyor number one or two to move it in a forward direction and either the number two or three to uh, move it in the reverse direction. And when a rejected part is, is placed on the conveyor, we need to activate the conveyor direction to dispose of the bad part. To do this, select yes. When the conveyor index after reject option is yes, then you will have a conveyor selection option. Configure the conveyor number to move the robot in the correct direction by selecting the configure tab and from the equipment dropdown, select the correct conveyor number. In this case, my conveyor reverses when conveyor 2 is selected, and you insert it into the handling group for the conveyor. Select close, and now your conveyor option will activate every time a reject part is dropped, and the conveyor will run in the reverse direction.